Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to Coffee and Headlines. This is our morning get together live here on Facebook where my voice is slowly coming back and where I started um, the broadcast this morning with jubilant enthusiasm and I started talking and so forth and so on. And I was thinking to myself, where is everybody? And you know what? I forgot to push the go live button. But here we are. We are live and we're happy to be here, although I still sound like a dirty dog, but that's okay. I feel much better than yesterday and I hope you're doing well. Today is Wednesday, January 24th, and we have a few items that we wish to share. Um, but first, let me clear my throat. I apologize. Oh, that was almost as good as sex. No, it was better than sex, actually. Good morning, everyone. I hope you're all doing well. And as always, we welcome those of you that are watching live for the first time. If that is your case, feel free to let us know by writing the word um, <clears throat> new. And we'll be so very happy to give you a nice little welcome. If you have anything important that you wish to share, um, don't do what Ronald did. Ronald simply wrote WTF, so he piqued my curiosity, but I have no idea what that is about. Instead, add a capital letter Q at the beginning of your comment, and that way we'll be able to find out what's on your mind, and we'll be happy to share that with everybody else. So let's take a quick look at the news for this morning. Um, purim pum pim. <clears throat> we started with great news, the cupola at the Puerto Vallarta's, at Puerto Vallarta's Church of Guadalupe Church <clears throat> is being restored. The restoration began this week. The work has been anticipated given the fact that 16 cracks on the structure have been leaking water into the church, resulting in humidity problems, among other things. The work um, is um, put in uh, the work is is I'm sorry the work is being executed thanks to a three million peso fund or rather it will take three million pesos to get the work done there's going to be some fundraising activities going on and it is expected to be concluded by April it is worth remembering that the first stone uh, of the temple the original temple was put into place on April 15, 1883, resulting in a modest parish. Construction of a larger temple began in October 1916, and it was not concluded until 1963. <clears throat> then there was a, an earthquake that damaged the, the, the crown of the church, which was uh, um, replaced by a new crown. And although the cupola had been intervened in the 1990s, it was due for some TLC, so I'm very happy that this is actually happening. Moving right along, you'll be pleased to know that as we've been talking, the new highway <clears throat> is coming up. The imminent conclusion of the quote unquote new um, Guadalajara Highway is, is nearing, but not many of us are actually talking about the tolls how much will it cost to take the new highway all the way to Guadalajara and back? Well, I have an answer for you. The tolls for the round trip are 3,386 pesos, becoming one of the most expensive highways in Mexico. So is it practical to take it if you're just driving by yourself? Probably not, unless you're schlepping a bunch of stuff. Um, Nonetheless, most of us are excited about the fact that the trip is going to be shorter, or so they say. We'll just have to wait and see. And uh, <clears throat> I don't get too excited about these award shows or award uh, competitions, but what do you know? Um, Puerto Vallarta wins the 2024 TripAdvisor Traveler's Choice Award was the headline used by Banderas News um, when 
in reality, they we just fared okay. What we did is we got fourth place as top destination in Mexico. So I suppose we won, but we didn't win the top spot, in case you were wondering. And now let us take a quick look at the weather. But once again, give me one second. Oh dear. Okay, so Ken getting an Oscar nomination is clearly just a setup for Barbie 2. Ouch. Well, there's a lot of talk going on about the fact that the director and uh, the leading lady did not get nominated, but we won't get into that. We'll get into the weather. 24 degrees right now, humidity is at 72%, and our weather far forecast for today says it's going to be humid with mostly cloudy skies throughout the day, a high of 28 and a low of 20. And then tomorrow, Thursday, it will be a humid day with mostly clear skies throughout the day, with a high of 28 and a low of 19. And then Friday, mostly clear skies throughout the day with a high of 28 and a low of 19. Not bad. And now I have great news from... <clears throat> our friends at the Joint Hotel, the place where I teach my music appreciation presentations. Well, guess what? The Joint is turning two. Joint Boutique Hotel celebrates its second anniversary hosting a fundraising gala in order of the local art festival Rompe. The event will be open to the public and will consist of an art auction taking place on Friday, February 2nd at 6 p.m. at the hotel. There will be live music, a special show by the Voguing House Kiki House of Paradise, a raffle, food and drinks, and everybody is expected to, att to attend, well, invited to attend anyhow. As a community enriching initiative, Joint Boutique Hotel offers the adult education program Grow by Joint, which features my music appreciation uh, presentations, language classes by teacher Luis Valadez, air fryer classes by Sharon Gerver, um, drawing classes by Bart Pass, and much more. So this is a good part of the celebration because whereas the fundraising event is going to be on Friday, this is on Friday, February the 2nd, there are free classes going on uh, throughout that whole week. On Monday, there's going to be a Spanish pronunciation class by Luis Valadez. This is going to be in um, at 4 p.m. And then we are going to have, or well, they're going to have a drop-in free drawing class on Tuesday. This is this coming Tuesday. Then on Wednesday, there's going to be a writing and content creation workshop, and um, also on Tuesday. And then on Wednesday, there's going to be an English pronunciation class for Spanish speakers. And then a week from tomorrow, Thursday, I will repeat my most recent music appreciation presentation, uh, Soulful Storytellers. This is going to be free for anyone to attend. If you wish to attend any of these free events, all you have to do is... Um, call or go to the reception desk and reserve a space. All these classes and workshops are for free. And I'm hoping that they will also entice other people to join the community of instructors and speakers at the, the joint hotel. Moving right along, I have one that has very little to do with Puerto Vallarta, but um, there's a story behind this. Last week, I went to see a movie called Mean Girls, and somehow I knew it was a musical. But then I asked my muffin, I asked Logan, hey, Logan, have you seen Mean Girls? And he's like, well, I didn't know it was coming out, and then I was, I was confused, and I didn't know if it was a movie or if it was a musical or what. And then I came across um, one of Vox's podcasts explained today uh, Today Explained is what it's called. And they had an episode called, Is It a Movie or a Musical? And it turns out that Hollywood has been quietly uh, releasing a series of move musical movies, but not really including musical elements in the trailer. Why is that? 
Well, you'd have to listen to this podcast. It's very interesting and informative. If you have nothing else to do at some point today and you want to spare, um, not spare, if you want to spend 30 minutes listening to a very informative podcast, I recommend this one and I will share it with you in the show notes. Last but not least, you would not want to, we announced this yesterday, but I have to mention it again. You would not want to be in a closed room with me with this voice, although I don't think I'm really contagious. I'm just flushing. But regardless, this would not have been fun for anyone. And while I, by that, I mean tomorrow's presentation of so many versions. It has been rescheduled to February 22nd. My apologies if you were looking forward to this tomorrow. I was, but um, it's not good for you. It's not good for me. It's not good for anyone to be doing this uh, when you're not at uh, 100%. So we are going to postpone this. But I'm looking forward to the free one that we're going to offer next week at the joint as part of their anniversary celebration. And with that said, let us see what everybody is up to this morning. do de do de tune <clears throat> Let's see. We see many, many good mornings. Hello, Gina. Long time no see. It's great to see your face. Ah. Do 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 do. Oh my goodness. Carrot cake. That sounds divine. Let's see, let's see. <laughs> Logan says, I don't ask for much, but you may find me at your doorstep begging for a slice of that carrot cake, depending on how my day goes. That's a lovely wish. You know, for me, I'd settle for having my voice and my breathing back. I hope that's not much to, too, too much to ask for. Um... Logan laughs. As someone who has received many of those TripAdvisor Traveler's Choice Awards over the years, trust they have hand those out like chiclets. Yeah, I don't get too excited about Traveler's Choice Awards by by uh, TripAdvisor, but hey, it's news. Uh, ba -dum -bum -bum -bum. We attended the Vallarta Garden Club event last night at Oscar. So happy to support this organization. Was this a red event? I saw somebody advertising a red event. And I saw photos of a red event. I'm glad that it was successful. Let's see. Okay, we are SVP now. You know, Sherry, I don't know what this is about, uh, but if by any chance if this happens to have anything to do with my presentation at at the joint, um, the reservations and all that stuff is handled by them. So um, if by any chance that's what you're talking about, you want to get in touch directly with them. Uh, let's see what else. Lime juice, honey, and rum. Great for the throat. Thank you very much, Lucy. Um, I'll try that one. I haven't tried that recipe before. Ah. Let's see what else. New Gelato Place on Calle Rio Amarillo is Gelato MX7. They are on Facebook. So good. Thanks for the recommendation. Ah. And there is a queue. Mark asks, what is a red event? What a great question, Mark. All I know is I saw a bunch of people wearing red. And if you ask me, when you have to wear a certain color to go to an event, no, you don't strike that. I'm just being a party pooper. I detest events where you have to dress up for the occasion. Um, but I think that's why, I mean, the event was red. I saw photos of people wearing red. And I suppose that is what a red event is. Uh, let's see. Albert says, no Paco, no carrot cake for me. 
I suppose carrot cake can't be good for my throat. I don't know. The point is, I just want this to go away. That's all I'm going to say. And because I'm rambling, I think it's time to end today's broadcast. Again, I'm sorry. This week, I'm feeling not at 100%. I wish I was here, and I will be here um, as the days go by. I promise. So, until I sound better or until I see you next, I hope you will have an amazing, an amazing day full of health, happiness, and connection. I will talk to you again soon, and hopefully we'll see you again tomorrow. Have a good day. Thank you.